He is the greatest footballer of all time. He is in India after 38 long years and he is here live and exclusive only on Times Now. A very good evening to the legendary Pele. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. It's wonderful to meet you. Wonderful to have you here. Uh, it's been nearly 40 years since your last visit to India. How yeah. has the country changed and in what ways has it not? Well, first of all, I have to thank God to give you this opportunity because uh, I have now, now when the, I arrive, I have the same welcome who I had before, the first time who I came here. Hmm. Then we start to talk before here. Yeah, this is the, the third generation or the second generation. Yes. <laughs> then is is a very important when you people love you, but uh, the, 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 at the same time is a very big responsibility because uh, you cannot make a mistake. You, know, you have to be always good example. Do you feel but, any uh, differences, any changes? Oh yeah. In the people, in oh, the country. Yeah. The, the people know because I have the same love. Mm. They received me that time was the same. But uh, the, the, the the difference of the country, you know, the construction yeah. the big <laughs> no doubt the, it's expanded, the big hasn't it? difference. Unfortunately I didn't have a uh, the time to, to to look around because mm. we have a lot of uh, you know compromise in the hotel but uh, is it is it is a little bit different from the first time who I, I came I'm here. I'm sure it is. 40 <laughs> years is a long time. Oh, um, you know, you were in Kolkata. You met one of our cricketing icons, Saurav Ganguly. What did you discuss? What did you talk with him about? Oh, you know, normally when you uh, you met you know, uh, a sport player, mm. you, know, you talk about sport. Yes. You know? Then uh, he, he started to tease me and say, listen, uh, in, in the quick, we are better than the Brazilians. They say, but in football, we are better than the, <laughs> the India. We start to make a joke. With yeah. But uh, I was uh, very, very happy to to meet him because he's a fantastic person, very, uh, tr uh, very calm. You know, uh, good, good message mm -hmm. he gave. He said he he loved football too, but he. He said, but he did uh, say we're better than you at cricket. <laughs> um, you're here for the Subrutu Cup final. Um, it's probably the largest sort of school level football tournament in the world. What are your views on it? Oh, yeah, I feel feel fantastic to be here because uh, I think a lot of people know, the people here knows when I changed from Brazil to to New York, you know, uh, with the New York Cosmos when mm -hmm. I went there. Hmm. I I start to work with the, the kids in college in school who have a tournament, mm -hmm. and then uh, I am very proud because today the the, the football in the United States is a very good level, yes. and the, the girls is the best, one of the best in the world. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah, the girls the outshine the boys, <laughs> which is wonderful. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> then the same opportunity I have here to give a message to the young, you hmm. know, to the, the the kids who started his you know, career now. Yeah. Then I, I wish in the future we have an excellent uh, you know, team here in India too. So you've been quoted as saying that uh, the talent in India should be sent abroad, the ones who are the best should be sent abroad for training. Why do you think that is so important? Do you feel there is a lack of infrastructure? What is stopping you know a country of one billion from producing world-class footballers? Yes, but it's not only to 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 talk about the infrastructure, hmm. you know, uh, is 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 a is a lack of experience. You know, I think it's important for the youngest player, for the players, they they have experience to play abroad, because uh, you see the the, the great country, the greatest uh, place where where they they yes. they, uh, they get the uh, experience to play abroad. Hmm. They have they have an international contact. Yes. This is important for the youngs you now who play. Yeah. Sometimes it's very good, but he need to get experience to play abroad. Of course, but you know the countries that are best at football are also the ones that have the most thriving club culture. Uh, do you think that helps a lot? And where do you stand on this country versus club thing? Because there is something, it's an ongoing debate always, you know, uh, whether a, a professional athlete should give precedence to country over club. No, of course, it's a help because they have you no know, good extra extra tour. Mm. They have a, have a good support. Yeah, this is a very very important. But uh, the, uh, I again I, I mentioned to to you get you know to get experience, you must to have some uh, some coach from outside mm. 
no, to, to come here to work, or some group of the players of schools to go abroad and to play in, in Europe. They, then you give more experience to the, to the, 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 the players, to the youngsters. This well, is I make the future. You know? Yeah, I just, you know, your being here, for instance, should inspire lots of youngsters. We should hope it should be fun. We've actually got a lot of uh, response coming in on Twitter. I've got some questions uh, from some of our uh, viewers coming in on Twitter. But, but before I get to them, uh -huh. what everyone wants to know, which you've been asked a hundred times, is Messi versus Ronaldo. <laughs> Who is the greater of the two and why? Why? I think normally I, 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 I tell to the people in the football, in the same team, or in in, in a different yeah. non, different uh, position, you you are not against the player because uh, one is a midfield forward, you no, know, with more ball control. Another one is a more strike. Mm -hmm. you, know, you have another one who have a good goalkeeper, like we have in Brazil, like we have banks, like we have a lot of midfield. Mm. <laughs> then you cannot compare like, like okay. that. But the last, for me, yes. my experience, is the last 10 years, no doubt, the, the two players who appear more mm -hmm. is, was Messi. And, and, and Ronaldo. Now, Ronaldo, Cristiano Ronaldo from Portugal, because we have a Ronaldo in Brazil, <laughs> yeah. was, was so was good like him. In his you know? day as well, yes. Exactly. But I think this is a very important. But I think for the, 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 the number of players you have all over the world, mm. you have only two players you know, in the top. I think it's it, it too little. And, too little. And in my time, we yeah. have a two, three, and eight team. No, but can, I can I can tell you ten players now yeah. for the youngs, for the people who love football. Mm. In one second, Beckenbauer, Cruyff, Pelé, Didi, uh, Jairzinho, Zico, uh, Di Stefano, uh, uh, who else? Uh, Zidane. You see how many? I say, yeah. uh, but now you say Cristiano Ronaldo. Mm -hmm. it's, it's too little. And now we have uh, from Brazil a young player. Neymar, Neymar of course. belong to my team. Yes, Santos. so I'm sure you have a soft spot for him. Uh, I wish he has a good luck. Yeah. I think he has the, no potential to be one of the best players in the future. Okay, so uh, that was in fact one of our Twitter questions. You've pretty much answered it because uh, Sanjay wanted to know what your dream 11 would be and I think you've pretty much outlined that right now. Just very quick uh, question from Rohit on Twitter is what are your favorite memories of India perhaps from the last visit that you had here? No, the, the, the favorite memory is, is the way the people treat you, the way they, they, they welcome you, they, mm. they receive it. It's the same, you know, with the love. You know. This was the same looks I was here yesterday, yeah. you know, not, not uh, so many years ago, because it was the same love. The, the way they treat me is fantastic. I thank you very much. Okay, wonderful. Now, um, you know, being a top legendary sports person yourself, you would have others who've inspired you. If I would ask you who are your top five sports persons ever, your favorites, doesn't have to be food, from football, who would you name? Well, you talk, you talk about uh, any kind of sport? Any uh, sport. Who are your favorite sportsmen through history? Oh, I have a, I have a opportunity to, to, you know, to meet the excellent player, to be with excellent players and in basketball and baseball hmm. and Any and names that come to mind that you really enjoyed meeting, someone you enjoyed watching? Uh, let's see. Mohamed Ali hmm. was one of the, you know, the fantastic you know, boxer. Yeah. I uh, have, uh, of course, in, in, in football, yeah. we have um, you know, a lot of uh, excellent players like Garincha, like uh, George Best, you know. Like yeah. Bob Sharton, Bob Moore, uh, Beckenbauer, you know, in, in the football. Yes. Outside of football, I have an opportunity to, to, to play tennis with Arthur Rashi. Oh, who was lovely. My, who was my teacher. I admire him. <laughs> I have wonderful. a lot of, of uh, you know, okay. players and uh, people who I love. Um, you know, just looking ahead to next year, where Brazil is going to be hosting the Olympics, um, what, how, how do you feel about it? There have been some, you know, so there are quarters that think it's not the best idea, but then there are those who feel it's the best thing to happen to a country. Where do you stand on that? No, I think it's important to okay. have, uh, it's a very important, it's, it's a big responsibility because you have to, to be prepared, no? mm -hmm. very well prepared. 
And then in Brazil, we have a, no, the, we did the begin, no, last year, we have a little problem to start for the construction, yes. to start, but now everything is okay. I hope so, it's going to be very nice and make a very good no Olympics, You're no doubt. You're looking forward to that? Because, um, you know, the, the, for example, the Athens Olympics, uh, post-Athens, there were a lot of people who felt that it had backfired for the country. So do you feel that there, that kind of fear is there among Brazilians? No, I think not. No? no? I think it's different. Okay. Uh, it's a different, you know, time. And, and today, you know, if we have any problem in, in the sport, mm. but you see, the sport is put the people together. It doesn't yeah, matter yes. if they have a little problem or not. But the sport, he put people together. Then that's what we want. You know, Peace and, and, and enjoy the, the game. Absolutely. In fact, that's what I was coming to next. Uh, sport is one of the uh, you know, main reasons for creating positive energy and, and positive emotions across the world. But it sees its share of controversies, and not just football. Whether it is, you know, we've had huge um, match-fixing scandals in cricket. There have been bribery scandals around the world. There have been cheating, doping. There are, there's that negative aspect of sport. How do you feel sport needs to bounce back? What do administrators of the sport need to do for that? Listen. Uh, sport is not a play not made by machine. The machine you can correct, but the man, the human being, mm. you cannot change the human being. If you have a, the number of uh, sport uh, or people who are involved in sport all over the world, of course you will have some one or another one who are not the same. But if you if you see in general, you know the number of, uh, for example, football. Mm. No football. You you see how many uh, many people involved in football since a college, university, and pro. Yes. Then Hundreds we didn't have thousands. we didn't we yeah. didn't have any problem. Yeah. But uh, of course, one or another one could you not know, bring some problem. In your family, in my family, in everybody in family, you have some time. Your one brother, family. your sister, yeah. or your, your your uncle has a little problem. This is this is the life. You know? All right, and sport always rises above that, doesn't exactly, it? Exactly, but uh, it's the most positive than negative. It is. Well, it's been wonderful having you with us. Thank, thank you. you so much. Once again, we welcome you to I India. I thank you very much and for the beautiful love. And then I wait everybody in Brazil in the Olympics. And, you know, I wait everybody there. Thank you very much. <laughs> My pleasure.